Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bill. We are going to be in the Advanced Player's Guide for Pathfinder. We're continuing the Archetype Class Build uh, video series. This video is going to be on the Hungry Ghost Monk Archetype. Uh, the name is very entertaining. I have not read anything into this, so let's read into this uh, archetype, see what you would get, and see what monk abilities you would lose to get those abilities for the archetype. So without further ado, the Hungry Ghost Monk. The Hungry Ghost Monk looks to spirits that prey upon living as models of perfection. He sees the life energy of the universe as a resource to be manipulated, even stealing it from other creatures. It is through this constant influx of energy that the Hungry Ghost Monk reaches his ultimate goal, power, personal, pure, and simple. A Hungry Ghost Monk has the following class features. Punishing Kick. At first level, a Hungry Ghost Monk gains Punishing Kick as a bonus feat, even if he does not meet the prerequisites. At 10th level, and every five levels thereafter, the Monk can push the target of his Punishing Kick an additional five feet. So 10 feet at 10th level, 15 feet at 15th level, and 20 feet at 20th level. At 15th level, he can instead choose to push the target 5 feet and knock the target prone in the same attack. The target still gets a saving throw to avoid being knocked prone. This ability replaces Stunning Fist. Steel Key. At 5th level, a Hungry Ghost Monk can steal key from other creatures. Though this ability is controversial in some circles of monks, who see it as nothing less than a form of vampirism, if the monk scores a confirmed critical hit against a living enemy or reduces a living enemy to zero or fewer hit points, he can steal some of that creature's key. This ability replenishes one spent key point to the monk's key pool. As long as the monk has at least one key point in his pool, he cannot exceed his key pool's maximum. At 11th level, each time the monk successfully steals key, he can make an immediate saving throw against one disease he is suffering from. There is no penalty for failing this saving throw. The monk gains a bonus equal to his wisdom modifier on the saving throw. This ability replaces purity of body. Life Funnel. At 7th level, a hungry ghost monk can steal a creature's life force to replenish his own. If the monk has at least one key point in his key pool and scores a confirmed critical hit against a living enemy or reduces a living enemy to zero or fewer hit points, he heals a number of hit points equal to his monk level. As with Steel Key, some monks believe that Life Funnel is an unsavory act, no better than what undead do to the living. A monk with this ability cannot steal both key and hit points at the same time, this ability replaces wholeness of body. Life from a stone. At 11th level, a hungry ghost monk can steal key or life force from any creature, not just living creatures. If a monk has at least one key point in his pool, he gains the benefits of life funnel and steal key when he confirms a critical hit against any creature or reduces any creature to zero or fewer hit points. This ability replaces diamond body. Sipping Demon. At 13th level, a Hungry Ghost Monk gains one temporary hit point each time he hits an enemy with a melee attack. The monk gains a number of temporary hit points equal to his Wisdom modifier when he scores a critical hit. The maximum number of temporary hit points the monk can have is equal to his monk level. The temporary hit points disappear one hour later. The monk can only use this ability when he has at least one key point in his key pool. This ability is prescribed manipulation of key considered by many good monks to be a corruption. The ability replaces Diamond Soul. So, the Hungry Ghost Monk. It would be a fun archetype to play, especially if you're trying to play an evil monk. I could definitely see me using this also as a NPC uh, archetype monk for the party to fight. And it... I wouldn't see it being the main villain, I'd see it being a, one of the lackeys of the main villain, if I was using it. And even then, it wouldn't be the villain of the campaign, it'd be the villain of the story arc they would be in at that point. Let me know what you all think about the Hungry Ghost Monk in the comments below. Until we all game again, guys.